The NDP and Bloc are keeping Justin Trudeau in power by rejecting Pierre Polyev's non-confidence motion, proving once again that Canadian politics is about self-preservation, not serving the people. This is exactly why Canadians are fed up. Trudeau forced an election in 2021 that nobody wanted, arrogantly thinking he could snatch a majority while no one was looking. Now, with his government's incompetence and corruption fully exposed and Canadians demanding change, what do we get? The NDP and Bloc rushed to shield him, terrified of a conservative majority. Jagmeet Singh has the audacity to call Trudeau finished, yet he props up this failing government pretending he's fighting for Canadians. It's beyond hypocritical. And speaking of hypocrisy, when Polyev rightfully called out Singh as a fraud in the House of Commons, what did Singh do? He puffed his chest and shouted, I'm right here, bro, like he was ready for some schoolyard brawl. Singh seems fully committed to this tough guy act, especially after making a spineless heckler back down earlier this week, a move even I will admit was commendable. But when Polyev mocked him and told him to do it, Singh stood frozen while the speaker had to break up this pathetic display. This is the theatre we're dealing with, cheap grandstanding and no real leadership. Then there's the block. At least they're honest about their motives, using this moment to squeeze Trudeau for favours to benefit Quebec at the expense of the rest of the country. The irony, though, is a so-called leader who preaches unity is now striking deals with separatists to cling to power. This is the tragic reality of Canadian politics. Instead of letting the people decide at the polls, these parties are propping up a government they know is failing, covering for traitors, and siphoning taxpayer money through unethical contracts, all to protect their own political interests.